Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with another video in my series of must-have city applications. Um, first thing is you probably notice I've got this really nice background of my backyard. Uh, I think it looks nice, but uh, probably won't do this very often. I just figured might as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to continue my series of videos on must-have city applications with one of one of my top ones. It's called SB Settings. Now, before we begin, I'll just real quick just say, I'm not going to go ahead and I'm going to cut out the city part. I'm pretty sure you guys can figure out how to punch in SB Settings in Zydia. Um, I'll have all the links that way, no problem. Anyway, so let's just go ahead and get straight into this. Okay, so SB Settings is a really cool settings app. Um, to kind of explain, let me just show you. Um, so you go to the top, and you just take, basically you take it and you slide your finger across. And for whatever reason, that's, that's not going away. But as you can see here, it, there's a lot of different just settings. I mean, as you see here, like my Wi-Fi IP address, which my Wi-Fi is off, uh, and the data. Obviously, I've got an iTouch, and it says available memory and, and things like that. But basically, what SB Settings is is it is basically an app that will let you s tweak all kinds of settings. Um, as you can see here, my brightness. It's one slight glitch. I'm not really sure. It really just hasn't been going away. I opened it a few days ago and it's been stuck up there, but I'm not really sure. But normally what you can see is behind it, you see Bluetooth, a toggle where you turn on and off your Bluetooth. The brightness obviously works, you can see it gets, I mean it works great. Um, you can do processes, I really wish I could show you guys that. I'm not really sure what's wrong with it, yeah, I guess it's just a glitch or whatever, but you can see that the processes well, you can cut off various uh, applications like Mail and Safari, as well as free up memory, which is a nice touch. Um, I have a add-on to do the push mail notifications, but that's that's a different story. Um, Wi-Fi, as you can see, I've got it off right now, and SSHing. Um, now I'll go down to the bottom. I'll do it from right to left. Uh, you can see on right here is the power. If I hit that, it will just you know shut it off. Here you can respring nicely. Um, you have an option for your dock. I can show you that later. You can refresh and then you just hit more. I'm going to go ahead and go into more. Give it a second. Now you can see this. Now this is very cool. Um, the first thing I'll just go ahead and just run through you guys the whole thing. These are your th just basic themes for SB settings, which was that the thing I did just went down. Uh, you know, you can just pick whichever one you want. Um, then here you go to set toggles, and these are the toggles that you can see there. Um, like 3G, obviously I have that off. Eye touch, you know. Um, Bluetooth, brightness, edge. You can have fast notes. You turn on your location or the toggle for your location in the phone. Uh, processes, you, the push mail, like I said, I added, I have added that, but SSH and Wi-Fi. So that's that's a nice thing, and you can move them, and you know, I definitely recommend customize that. Um, you, know, you can do your dock applications and hide. Now I will go ahead. It takes a moment to load, but basically what this is is you basically hide applications. Um, sometimes you don't necessarily need to, but you know, you can if you want. So I won't show you guys now because it does take a little while to load, and then you have to go through it and everything, but Basically, you can just turn off any of them. And on a quick side note, if you installed the last application that I had, uh, Spot Bright Search, you can still see these. So let's say uh, my stocks. I don't want anybody to see my stocks. I, sh I click flip it off, and then whenever I want, I can go ahead and, although it won't show, I can go into SB Settings and do it manually, or I could go over to Spot Bright Search and just pull it up so no one can ever see my stocks <laughs> anyway so now right down here you can see uh, a thing for your mobile substrate add-ons this can be helpful in sometimes doesn't matter basically it just lets you turn off the different add-ons that you've done if you're experiencing glitches and, and stuff like that this can come in handy I mean you won't you won't probably want to turn on any of these off just because I mean unless you're having a problem and we can go down to extras. Now this is nice. Um, now there's a lot of different things like numeric battery. If you can see like, up here, probably won't be able to. Maybe if you're watching in high definition, see it's shows I've got 40% of battery life left. And if I want to turn that on and off, then I can see it. Same thing goes for my Wi-Fi. You can say you know you got 80% signal, whatever. Um, GSM. You can also have your status bar date, your free memory, which I do, because that's very handy to know. Um, then different things like the Apple kill switch. If you don't have something that's killing that, you definitely want to go ahead and shut that off. Um, and different things like that. Um, you know, I don't want to get off probably dra dra uh, 
drug, drug this out for too long. Um, I just wanted to show you guys this uh, SB settings, one of my favorite city applications. Uh, definitely very, very handy. All kinds of stuff that you can really use, customize everything in it. Um, I highly recommend it. Uh, again, I will have links to uh, everything you will need in the sidebar. Uh, just, you know, hit SB settings in Cydia. I mean, you guys should be able to handle that. Anyway, okay, that's just about it. Thanks for watching, guys.